Hey, welcome. What I am going to be doing today is trying out the new KitchenAid. It just came out not too long ago. It's the K400 blender and it's it's pretty brand new. And I was sent this, I'm so excited, so that I could try it and give my reviews and let you know what I thought about it. So I am gonna unbox it and try it for the first time right here with you. I haven't read any instructions yet. So what I'm gonna do is do something simple like just a raspberry shake. I've got some fresh raspberries that I froze from my garden. So I'm gonna be using those. We'll add some pecans and stuff, but I'm, I'm excited to give this a try. So stay with me and we'll see what how this thing works. I've heard lots of good things about it from other people. Um, I heard that you can like put big chunks of apples and fruits, all kinds of fruits and vegetables and that it will just blend them right out. So this is going to be fun. Let's drop the cutter and cut my foot. Okay. It comes with instructions, which I should, probably should have read about, but we'll do that later. Oh, and here's some more. It's pretty exciting. Hopefully I can get it out of here. It looks like it's pretty good sized. Ooh, it's pretty. Really pretty. I'm excited. This. Oh my. This is quality. Made. This is heavy. I'm going to tip the box over here for a second and get this out. i show it to you. Excuse me. Okay. Wow, this is awesome. It's not like a light little cheap blender that I usually use. Here we have this, I'll turn around. Let me get my... Uh, come up there. There we go. Let's take a look at it. Isn't it pretty? I just washed this. Put it back on. I, well, I, before I turned it back on, I just quickly looked at a couple things on the instructions so I wouldn't be totally lost when I make this shake with you. Um, and I don't know if you can see here, but down here, if you push it here, here's the pulse so you can pulse it. And then it has one, two, three, four, five levels. And then it's got an ice crusher so you can crush ice. Then this is for icy drinks. And here we have for smoothies. I don't think I'm gonna use the smoothie one for my shake because I don't like my shakes too smooth, but that's an awesome one to have for your morning health drinks or anything like that, any kind of smoothie. Um, and then right here is, it has a self cleaning. So it cleans itself. I haven't read up on that yet, but after we make the shake, um, we'll do that. We'll see how it cleans itself. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to throw in some, I got some vanilla bean ice cream. I love vanilla bean ice cream. So, like I said, this is the first time I'm using it, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. And I don't know about you, but when I'm making shakes, if you like my ice cream scoop, <laughs> um, I don't measure. I just like throw in stuff until it looks good. So, let's put a little more ice cream. Okay, I'm going to put that in. Then I got fresh raspberries from my garden. I think I'm going to use all of them. We're going to put this blender to the test. And then I've got almond, not almonds, I've got pecans. And I'm going to put those in after I mix it a little bit. So here we go. And some milk. If you want something a little healthier, I would suggest maybe almond milk, and if you wanna maybe make a drink that's not so healthy, be a little bit healthy, you can maybe throw in some protein powder if you have that, because a lot of them are don't have really flavor, so you could throw in a protein powder, if I could talk, or maybe collagen powder, any of that, because you wouldn't even taste it, you'd be getting some good in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so remember we have the pulse and we have the five different levels and then um, 
we have this smoothie. So, what I like about this is when I put it to the levels, it doesn't turn on. Because you know how when you're getting to which level you want, it just starts going? This doesn't go until you get to what you want. Excuse me, I've got to bend down here. You get down here, then you push this button. Okay, I need some more milk. I figured I would. Because I put a lot of ice cream. <laughs> I put a lot of ice cream and raspberries in this one. It's going to be yummy. It's going to be thick. So, let's try that again. And it's still over on the... Oh, I wasn't going to put it on the smoothie, was I? That's okay. We'll, we'll leave it on the smoothie. It's powerful. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. I love this already. Okay. Let me see. That's pretty thick. But now the test, we're going to put some pecans in. This is quite a bit. I don't know if I'm going to use all of those. But here's going to be the test. Oh, heck. Let's just put all of them in. Let's see how this works. Okay. I might put just a teeny melt because I don't like my shakes that thick. I like them thick, but I like to be able to suck them through a straw. Not eat them with a spoon. Okay. So if you like chunkier fruit and... Stuff like that, you probably don't want to put it on the smoothie one. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm turning it off. I don't want them to completely dissolve my, I guess you wouldn't call it dissolve. I don't want it to puree my, but it just like sucked those pecans right down in the center. You can't, that is awesome. Okay, so if you have any questions on this, which I do still, because like I said, I just opened it right here in front of you. I haven't really read anything about it. Go to KitchenAid's website, check out other people's reviews on it, see what they thought. But like I said, um, you they say you can throw in big chunks of apples, carrots, you know, all types of fruits and vegetables for your smoothies, and it will just blend them right up. So I am really excited to try some healthy smoothies and with some vegetables, fruits, all of that stuff. And like I said, throw in your protein powder or collagen powder or something like that that doesn't taste and you get all that extra in there. But um, let's pour this, and then I am going to read up really quick while I have you paused I'm going to read and see how it self-cleans itself. Before I pause you, I wanted to show you this. I just poured this. Oh, perfect. It is just perfect. It's not too big. Okay, now to clean this, you fill it about halfway full of water. You know, pretty warm water. Or you put just a little bit of soap in. Then you go down here and you turn this clear to the last one, which is the cleaning one. Oh, I better put a lid on this. <laughs> that would be smart. Okay, there we go. Okay. You put it on there, then you push the start. <laughs> That's awesome. Now if it would only rinse, dry, and put itself away, that would be great. I want to thank you for watching and trying this out with me. I'm excited. Maybe I'll share some other videos when I make a healthy drink with the fruits and vegetables. So if I do, please come back and we'll see you later.